Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me start by saying there was a comment that was made that says under, this undercuts the authority of these agencies. These agencies get their authority from us, the General Assembly, and it is our duty to make sure that they are acting within the scope of the law, and too often they're not, and it's not going through committees, and it's not going through the IRC process. This would put the power back into the hands of the General Assembly and, and have them take responsibility of what they're supposed to be doing. Another comment was about uh, decluttering. Uh, decluttering they're, they're all in favor of decluttering our regulations, but they oppose the last piece of legislation that would have cleaned up our regulations. We have a regulatory nightmare here in trying to decipher what is going on in the Commonwealth. Uh, specifically, here's an example, an air compressor. There was just a new rule, not because of a law, but a new rule, every air compressor, regardless of PSIs have, has to have a minimum PSI gauge. Not because of any statistics that could be produced, because that was asked for, but because a new rule was just written arbitrarily on that. There are things we need for good safety measures and for the health and welfare of, of the Commonwealth, but we have gotten in way too deep. This, again, is a common sense measure to start addressing that problem. And again, I go back to economic growth. We all know that regulations are killing our small businesses. They can't bear the burdens, anything comparable to what our larger industries can do. And if we want to help spur economic growth, which will help our revenues in this Commonwealth, this is a great measure to do that. So I strongly encourage my colleagues to support this bill. Thank you.